We begin with another drowning. Tonight, emergency officials are searching for the body of a man who died while rafting. Now, this accident happened yesterday on the Chattooga River, a popular rafting site. We have live team coverage. News 13's Evan Donovan is live from near the scene of the drowning in Oconee County, and Cheryl Barber is in Marshall. We begin with Evan. Evan, officials have just identified the victim, right? That's right, and that man has been identified as Thomas Patrick Hill, a resident of Florida. Hill was on a rafting expedition with his company yesterday on the very last group, on the very last rapid, when he was thrown from the raft and never came back up. Now, Coney County officials tell us that they have just located the location of his body within that rapid, a Class 5 known as Sockham Dog. The incident occurred just a few hundred yards, actually, from where a man drowned last year, also on a rafting trip. A Coney County officials say the water level of the the river is well within the range for rafting trips. That trip was actually run by Southeastern Expeditions, a company that's been around since 1971 and does tons of rafting trips on this river. They say Hill was wearing a helmet and a life vest and was accompanied by guides and safety boaters with 20 plus years of experience. Oconee County Fire Chief Charlie King says the recovery efforts now will have to wait for the water level to drop to a safe level. We, we, we just have to wait it out. We have to, to kind of watch the weather and the rain that comes into the headwaters in, in North Carolina and give it time to flow down and pass through and, and let it come down to a safe uh, flow level for us. King says the river is currently the river is currently at a gauge of 1.9 feet, but needs to drop to about 1.5 feet before they can attempt a safe recovery. Now, U.S. forest officials have just told us that they will begin recovery efforts again tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. They also say that in the 40 years that they've been keeping records of drownings on this river since about 1970, uh, they have had 40 drownings on the river, but only two have been from commercial incidents last year and then again yesterday. Tragic day yesterday on the. Uh, on the Oconee River, excuse me, on the Chattooga River. Live in Oconee County, I'm Evan Donovan, News 13.